Well, I've looked right now at Pittsburgh International Airport where you will need a real ID or a passport to fly next year. Today, the TSA said you'll want to get one sooner rather than later. But Channel 11 News is asking, is it worth it? And Peggy, you have been looking into this. Walk us through this process. I will, David. If you only travel in the United States, the real ID may be the better option for you. It is cheaper, but you'll need more documentation to get one. Either way, the TSA is stressing, do not wait until the last minute. You hand them your license. The TSA officer looks at that and says, oh, I'm sorry, that ID is no longer valid. Ooh. That's a mistake, huh? Starting October 1st, 2020, you will need a real ID to get on an airplane. You can also use a military ID or a passport. I don't use my passport unless I'm traveling out of the country, and you'll need that to go state to state. The TSA says the real ID will make our airports more secure. It's really an extra tool in our security toolbox, and it improves the reliability and the accuracy of ID. We wanted to know which was easier to get, a real ID or a passport. To get a real ID, you're going to need an original or certified copy of your birth certificate, a social security card, two proofs of addresses, and proof of all legal name changes. The cost is about $60. Now, for a passport, you are going to need your birth certificate, the completed application, a current ID, such as a driver's license, and the passport process costs about $145. You may think to yourself, am I a frequent flyer? Uh, do I want to be carrying my passport with me everywhere I go? AAA well, spokesman Jim Garrity says it's a personal preference if you want to get the real ID, but if you do, don't wait. Our advice is don't be that guy. Don't wait until the last minute to get your real ID. Peggy Finnegan, Channel 11 News.